little hint of pink. Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I wanted to do a video all about pink. So obviously I'm wearing a bright pink jumper because is there anything else you could wear when you do a video about pink? I don't think so. Um, so I just wanted to talk about it because I think pink is like a really big trend for this season and I know that it's not necessarily something that people see themselves wearing a lot. I mean personally I'm such a neutral wearer I never thought that I would be seen dead in pink. So it's come as quite a surprise to me and I feel like it's the sort of thing that once you start wearing it you'll definitely end up having loads of pink things because it's actually so easy to wear in your wardrobe and if like me you've got quite a neutral wardrobe anyway then it mixes in really nice with like creams and greys um, and like camel colours. It's just really nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some pieces that I got um, and that I think are great ways of adding pink into your wardrobe and I'm going to do little inserts like while I talk about them to show you how to kind of start them up. So I hope you like this video and if you do like it then let me know and let me know if there's something you want me to do more of like trends and how to wear trends and stuff. So yeah, I'd like to know that. So the first thing I'm wearing, I'll talk about, um, is this bright pink jumper. So Fuchsia is actually like the colour. Um, I don't know if this is like Fuchsia but like bright bright pink is like the colour of pink, the shade of pink. Um, and so I, this was like the third or fourth pink thing I bought. I was quite deep into my pink obsession when I bought this um, and I definitely wouldn't have bought it as my first pink piece. But if you're brave then go for it. I think it was £30 from Zara. It's so chunky and warm and cosy. I love it. It goes with everything. I've worn it under my um, white coat. It looks so nice with other pink colours. Like something I love with pink as well is wearing different shades. Um, and mixing them all up. Um, so I'll also insert pictures of um, if I've like worn it in the past and then obviously do clips of me styling it up. So this scarf I got at the same time and I actually really like the two pieces together. I'll just show you now. But I'll show you like properly as well. I just think it looks really nice. Oh my god, here comes the sun. I think it looks really nice with like the two pinks layered together um, and I also really love this scarf with the um, my camel jumper. Um, so I'll show you it mixed in with like other colours and stuff. Um, so I just think it's a great way of adding pink into your wardrobe if you don't want to kind of like go all out because a scarf is just such a small thing. And it's a really like nice light pastel-y pink so it's more of a neutral um, and it's not kind of too in your face. So another pink top that I've got recently is this one. And this kind of like literally encompasses every trend that is like out right now that I'm loving. So it's got the ruffles, it's got velvet, it's pink and it's got flared sleeves. So I put a picture of this up on my Insta stories and as you all remember if you follow me on Instagram and you watch my Insta stories I said it looked like a bag of crap because it just doesn't look great on the hanger but I just think it's something that looks amazing styled up. Um, it's quite a kind of um, more like nudie pink. It's the sort of pink that I would wear in a lipstick um, and I think it all looks so nice. Tucked into a pair of jeans with like my Gucci belt, um, maybe like a cream coat. I just think it's a really nice piece and it's a great way of wearing the pink trend because it's not so bright um, and I also think it's a great way of encompassing a few different trends. I love the ruffles on it too. So another pink piece is this and this is a pink top. Um, another pink top, I've got quite a few. So this one is absolutely beautiful. This is from ASOS and it's got the lace panel here. It's got like velvet ribbon here. It's got ruffles in like a V which is really flattering and beautiful. I don't know if you can even see it because it's so beautiful and like thin. It's got like a ruffle here. Uh, it's got um, the kind of net here which is um, polka dot lace or like net. And then it's got like a, um, whatchamacallit? flared sleeve but this is so beautiful I think this would look really beautiful under a jumper with just like the sleeves popping out or I think it would look beautiful with like some darker lingerie underneath maybe to like um, a real contrast to like the prettiness I just think this is so beautiful such a beautiful piece and I think I'm really surprised at the price of this because I think it looks way more kind of high end because of how delicate it is like it looks really kind of couture almost. This is a slogan tee. Uh, I got this from She Inside because I really wanted to try out the whole like slogan trend. Though now I'm thinking maybe I should have started with something white. 
but I do love this and um, also it's kind of encompassing the clashing trend too so like at the moment pink and red is like a huge thing another like mini trend within the pink trend um, and I think this will look so cool just like a pair of mom jeans like tucked in really casual um, really in the style of like a uh, pepper mac um, I'll leave her link below or like show a picture of her she's really cool she wears this kind of thing all the time and that's kind of what I had in the back of my mind um, so yeah I love that um, and I just think it's a really cool way of doing the pink trend, the slogan trend, the clashing trend. It kind of encompasses quite a few things and I kind of love that about it. So this is something that you've seen me wear before um, and this is again like a couple of trends. It's got the ruffles, it's got the flared sleeves, it's pink, it's like a really pale pink which is really nice um, and I really love this piece. I've seen quite a few people in it now. Um, and I just think it's gorgeous. It's a great dupe for the Club Monaco one, which is like obviously way more expensive. Um, and it's actually really comfy too. Um, and I just think this look will look so great with just like a pair of jeans, with a real casual look. Um, also, I think you could like layer it with, I've seen those coats that are so cool that are kind of like short sleeved. I don't have one, so I can't show you how to style it. But I've seen people wear um, those with like sleeves poking out and I feel like these sleeves would be perfect for that um, or if you just wore a coat just over your shoulders so just the sleeves were coming out which would be amazing um, and I just think it's such a kind of wow piece but because it's jumper it's so comfortable um, and one thing I really hate about like sometimes statement pieces is like if they're really uncomfortable because I hate being uncomfortable I hate it when you have to spend the day like fiddling and like messing around and things just don't feel comfortable like comfort is key to me so finally we come to my last pink piece and the first pink piece that I actually bought which is a jumper from Misguided um, I didn't buy it sorry I was sent this um, and so it's really similar to a Storettes one which is um, it's got bigger ruffles here so like a much wider ruffle and it's got pearls here which I actually love and I'm quite tempted to do a DIY on that on myself because um, I'm really, really, really into the whole pearl trend. And I've been trying to find some, like, pearl pieces. But the only things that I found in the high street at the moment are, like, cardigans and tight jumpers and stuff that kind of remind me of, like, Blair Waldorf, which, don't get me wrong, I love, but that's just not my style. Um, so, yeah, anyway, please don't hate me for dissing Blair Waldorf. I love her so much. Um, so, this jumper I love. It's so easy to wear. It's a sweatshirt actually, not a jumper, which makes it really comfy because it's got like the brushed cotton on the inside um, and it's just so easy to wear. Um, I think the sleeves as well are such a statement that when you do wear it with just like just, even though it's a sweatshirt, you can wear it and it feels like more dressed up. Um, I've worn this so many times, but I will style it up again for you to show you. Um, and yeah, this is my favourite pink piece, I think, even though it's the first one. I think I'd still say it's my favourite because it's... It's kind of like a more kind of creamy pink. I don't know how to explain it, but it's not as in your face. And I mean, I don't think any of the pieces that I've picked are that in your face. Um, but this is definitely, I would say, the most wearable piece. So if you were like trying to dip your toe into the pink trend, I'd say go for this if you're going to get a top. Because I think it's the most kind of wearable piece. So next I have a few accessories, a few pink accessories. The first thing is these glasses. I love these glasses. Oh, I think they're really reflective. Oh, per thing of me wearing them then because they're so reflective. But I love them so much. They're like granny glasses. These are from ASOS too. You know I love my grandma glasses that are like Ray-Bans um, with clear lenses. I wear them all the time. I just think glasses um, like frames can really frame your face and make you look beautiful and just, I think, I don't know, it's like wearing sunglasses, um, like a self-conscious kind of thing, but you're not hiding your eyes. I don't know. I really love them. And I just think these pink ones are so beautiful. And also, like, this tiniest amount of pink. But you're still wearing it. So, yeah, I just wanted to include these because they're gorgeous. So, another pink piece I've had for a while and I really wanted to include it. And I think it might be on sale now. Is this Radley bag. It's, like, blending in with my top. It's, like, the same shade. Can you see it? Um, so, I really loved this bag. It's leather... Um, it's really easy to wear because you can just pop it on with like a neutral outfit and it's just like a pop of pink. I think accessories are a great way to start with the pink trend because um, it's something that you can just slip on or off with any outfit. So you don't have to kind of like plan the whole outfit around it. Um, 
and this I love what I love about this style the most is that it really reminds me of the Celine Trio I love all the gold detailing um, but obviously if you're going to buy a Celine Trio you wouldn't want to get it in bright pink probably because unless you've got a lot of disposable income you tend to go to designer bags for like neutrals so it's really nice to get a more affordable bag in like a bright colour and I will oh what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a blog post to coincide with this and I'm going to link some more like because obviously I can't buy the whole pink world I wish I could so I'm going to like link some more like alternatives like more affordable alternatives more expensive alternatives and um, just kind of like every price range all of the amazing pink things that you could want so yeah I love this I'm going to show you start up again um, and yeah another amazing brand for like entry point uh, high end uh, is Furla I went to their bag launch yesterday and they have the most amazing bags and they've got some really beautiful pink ones and they're like really small and fun and it's another great way of like adding colour into your wardrobe so another thing I got to show you how to add pink is some socks these this is a three pack but there's the pink socks they're like pastel pink um, and I just think that these will look great with some shoes so I think you could wear them with like glove shoes I've got some white glove shoes that I'm going to style them with that I think they'll look really cute with like a real girly kind of look and then I'm going to style them with like bare legs and my shoe boots with just the pink coming out I just think there's so many different ways that you could style socks to just add that again it's if you don't want to go all out with pink it's just adding that tiny little hint of pink that little hint of pink that will just kind of it's like a nod to the trend without going all out like this. Let me show you them properly though. So these are like a pastel pink. There's so many different pink socks you can get to. I've seen ones that are like sheer pink, um, the really nice sheer ones that are spotted. So like the um, top that I had from ASOS but in socks. Or I've seen ones that are fishnet, like the fishnet pink ones, pastel pink. So gorgeous. And you can have them in tights too. They look amazing with ripped jeans with just like the knee showing or um, I've seen the ones that are like really bright and like out there um, I just think there's so many different ways and socks are just an amazing way of just adding like the most tiniest little pink hint so finally I have a pair of shoes and I love these shoes like honestly they're gorgeous I think they're in the sale for £15 which is outrageous um, and again they're like on onto two trends they're pink and they're velvet and then the most gorgeous shade of pink it's kind of like a berry pink I don't know how to explain it but I love it and what I love about them too is they're very flattering because of where they are here so with some they come up like straight and I don't find that very flattering because these are kind of rounded they're really flattering and elongating to the legs um, but these are gorgeous velvet shoes I think now you could wear them with socks or with like the fishnet socks or in the summer I'll be wearing them all the time um, and they've got a great sized heel too so they're not like too high they're like the perfect height that you could wear them every day my pink video i really hope you like it i really hope that i've inspired you to try the pink trend yourself let me know if i have i'd love it if you could like comment below or tag me in something to let me know i'd love to see how you style it up so that would be amazing and let me know if you want to see more of these videos like talking about trends and stuff and more kind of styling rather than just like hauls and new in and favorites and stuff yeah let me know if those are the kind of videos you want to see 
um, and yeah, uh, thanks so much for watching. As always, I'll leave all the links to the things I've explained below, and I'm going to do a coinciding blog post, as I said before, which will have um, kind of like other alternatives, because I can't, obviously there's so many amazing pink things out there, I couldn't buy them all. So yeah, I'll leave links to like other amazing pink things, and yeah, thanks so much for watching, hope you liked the video, subscribe, like, comment, go follow me on my blog, check me out everywhere, <laughs> and I'll see you next time. Bye!